Here's a photograph of the actor Emily Watson, and you can see how half her face is in shadow. Let's fix that by going to Image, Adjustments, and Shadows and Highlights. And right away, you can see that with the default settings, it's let some light into those shadows. We can increase that amount by dragging the slider, and the shadows get brighter. Check the More Options button, and all the controls appear. By dragging the Shadow slider, we brighten the shadows. By dragging the Tonal Range slider, we can increase the range to which that adjustment is applied. The Radius slider controls the range to which pixels are considered to be shadows. But be careful not to drag this too far. Her shoulder is quite blown out. We can drag the Highlight slider to reduce the brightness in that area. It starts to look a bit grey. If we increase the tonal range slider, it gets worse. Let's take it down a bit, and that improves the look. We can boost the colour in here, and we can drag that up to make it stronger. The problem is we tend to lose the mid-tone. So let's drag the mid-tone slider to boost that, and now we get a much stronger image. At any point, we can check the Preview button to compare before and after. Let's apply this by hitting OK. The hair is a bit bleached out. So let's go to the History brush, open the History panel, and pin it at the previous state of the document. We can now paint over the hair, and it reverts it to the original state. If that's looking too dark, go to Edit and Fade History brush, and now we can drag the slider to partially revert that to our Shadows and Highlights adjustment. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to this channel.